Once you have logged into your Google Drive account, you can create your first document. So to create a document, you must click on the Create button on the top left hand corner. Once you click the button, you'll see you can create a new folder, a new document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, or drawing, and there are also more apps you can install later. Uh, but we'll focus on how to create a document today, so click on Documents. It will open up in a new tab. Notice why I'm using Chrome. There's another tab at the top, and it automatically uh, titles your document Untitled Documents. To name the document, click on where it says Untitled Document, and now you can give your document a name. So I'm going to give mine, how about Sample Document, and click OK. And now that is the name of my document. And one of the uh, the best things about Drive is um, that things are automatically saved. So it will always say here, once things are saved, all changes saved in Drive, and you are good to go. So as I make changes, if I want to go ahead and add a title, um, I'll say sample documents. And notice how it said all changes saved in Drive. So everything you do is always saved, um, which means you have to be connected to the internet for it to save automatically, but that is the only drawback to it. You must be connected, but if you are, you will never lose progress. Once you've created your document, you can uh, use similar formatting tools that you would find in other word processing programs that are not cloud-based, such as Microsoft Word. So at the top you see some buttons, so you have a print button, you have an undo button, you have a redo button, uh, paint formats, uh, text styles are pretty simple, title, subtitle, heading, that's just the, the basic options. You can also change the fonts, and you can add new fonts that are all, you know, there, there's a very good collection of fonts on uh, Google Drive, so you can check those out. There are a lot of nice fonts there. I've added a couple ones like Syncopate. Um, and then the font size, very similar to Microsoft Word. You also have bold, italics, underline, text color, uh, text background color, uh, insert link, insert comment, we'll talk more about that later, and then your align buttons, uh, line spacing, so if you want double spaced or uh, one half spaced, adding spaces before or after paragraphs are all there, um, numbered list or bulleted list, either one. Is, is nice. You can also, um, clicking on numbered list, you can increase or decrease the indent. So if you want to make an outline of some kind, you can just increase the indent and decrease that. Same with bullets. I might have under the first bullet, idea one. And then I could increase the indent to have something under that idea. So detail one. And so on and so forth. Or you can go back and decrease the indent. Those are the basic formatting options for your, for your document. The menu at the top of your screen is very similar to Microsoft Word and other programs that are Windows based also. So you have your file menu where it's fun. you can share, a uh, new, open, rename, make a copy. Somewhat different because it's web based, but it's very similar. Edit, undo, redo, paste, those things are found there. View, you can view different things, compact controls or full screen. Inserting an image can be a little bit different. There are a couple options. When you insert an image, you can either upload it from your hard drive, which is something we're very used to doing if you use Word. You could take a snapshot of something, which doesn't happen very often, where, often, but I mean, it could be something where you have a webcam and take a snapshot of yourself, and that's fine, or by URL. So if you find an image you like somewhere, you can go ahead and paste the URL in here, and it will uh, load the image up. One thing I like to do, and I think it's very simple and easy to use, is to um, drag and drop images. So I'm going to go ahead and go to images.google.com and find some kind of image. Let's find an uh, image of planet Earth. <clears throat> and I like this image, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this. So if I go ahead and click on it and drag it, I can go over to my tab with my document and just unclick, and it's now there. So pretty simple. You can just drag and drop that way, and that does not save the image in the file. It just always draws from that link where you referred it from. So that's an easy way to add an image, and you can either have it in line with text or a fixed position where you can drag it around your document. 